Okay, so it seems like uh, the more I read of this book, uh, the more I want to read of it. So I haven't really set it down too much today. Um, I went ahead and read uh, chapter 13, 14. Chapter 13 is uh, go all in and overcommit. And basically, it's just telling you, you know, a lot of people tell you that overcommitting to something is bad. The chance of failure is bad. It's going to ruin you. But uh, don't let that uh, hold you back. He tries to make an analogy to this with poker. He's like, if you go all in in poker and say you lose your hand, uh, then you're out. You lose your chips. But if you get it, you double what you had. Um, this is partly, you know, similar to what, what it is with what he's comparing to. He says your hand and your life is somewhat similar to poker to where you can go all in. But when you go all in with your effort, your time, your commitment, there's no reason that you can't go in all in over and over and over and over. It's not like you can go all in one time. If you lose that hand, you're done. He says, go all in. If you lose, gather yourself, go all in again and again and again and again and again until you actually win. When you win, it's going to continue to win for you. So the next chapter on chapter 14, uh, he calls it uh, expand, never contract. Um, he, he relates this to uh, the recent economic status where everybody's contracting, businesses are falling apart. And he said, uh, if you, you have big visions, you can never contract. Um, the only time you can contract is for brief moments when you're preparing yourself to expand and expand big time. Um, he talks about all these things uh, where we had the recession and he said all these businesses were expanding or uh, contracting and whenever they was contracting he was expanding. He didn't cut his wages on his workers, he had to use his personal money to advertise more and he picked up progress in every area. He knew, he said he spent more money in 18 months than he did the past 18 years, but he was scared. And he did it anyway because he knew if he could do it, he would gain, uh, gain tremendous ground. So uh, I don't think I really need to uh, leave a take-home message with this one. But I just want to end it at, with one of the quotes in the book that he makes. Uh, it's a really good one. It explains itself. He says, I'd rather die in expansion than die in contraction. Uh, I'd rather fail pushing forward than in retreat. So take that to heart. Um, if you want to contact me, once again, email me at tkdblack, like, comment, share it, uh, anything. Just give me some feedback, and I appreciate it.